Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bob. I'm back. All right, so what we're going to do today is we are going to create, it's underneath all my supplies, aluminum foil people. Looks like an alien. Ah, ooh. Okay, so we're going to create aluminum foil people. So our supplies that we will need. Are you ready? We're going to need a Sharpie. We're going to need a pair of scissors. Now, it can be any scissors. I just happen to have a really good pair of scissors here. So, and you will need a ruler, okay? And you will need aluminum foil. And as you'll notice, I got heavy duty aluminum foil, okay? So again, Sharpie, ruler, scissors, aluminum foil. All right, so let's get started real quick. Gonna put this aside. Bye, Mr. Bob. All right. And I'm gonna pull out a piece, a sheet of aluminum foil. Here it goes. And the measurements I want are 12 by 14. So here is a ruler, and a ruler is 12 inches long. But I want 14 inches. So I'm gonna have to put the ruler down on my sheet of foil. And I didn't care, I tore it a little bit longer than I really need. So I'm gonna mark 12 inches. So that's the end of the ruler, so I know this part is 12. So how many more inches do I need to make 14? So this is one foot, that's 12. 12 plus 13, 14, two more inches. So I find the two inch mark, put it on my line, and I'm gonna measure two inch. Two inches extra, and that is where I'm going to tear it. Now, a little bit of safety here. Some boxes of aluminum foil come with this little, it's a little sawtooth. And believe me, it will get you if you're not careful. So you may want to have your mom or dad do this for you. So you don't, you don't cut your finger like Mr. Bob did. All right, so what I do is this turns out that this is exactly... 12 inches tall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ruler on the 14 inch mark, not the 12 inch mark, the 14. And this is what I do. I tore it just a little bit long. So what I'm going to do is just start tearing it right at the top. Just start a tear. Hold down my ruler really tight and I just pull. And it kept a nice straight line for me. Okay, put away the excess, put away my ruler. Now, I'm gonna fold this 12. I need, I need seven by six. So right now it's 12. If I fold it in half, that will give me six. And I'm gonna fold, you gotta be careful. It's not very forgiving. Once you fold it, it's folded. It is aluminum foil. So I'm going to fold it in half, pull it up. There we go. Fold it in half. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is so you have two to work with. So this is now 6 by 14. I want 6 by 7. So what's half of 14? 7. So we're going to fold it again in half, just like so. Make sure the corners are lined up. Bring it down, bring it down like so. And now I actually have two squares I can use. Take your scissors and carefully, now this is a neat fact, aluminum foil will sharpen your scissors when you cut them. So now I have two identical pieces of aluminum foil that I'm gonna use to make a human form and this is what we're going to go for like this so this is where you need to have your sharpie okay your sharpie what you're going to do i like to have my folded edge at the top and my loose edge is at the bottom what i'm going to do is 45 degree angle come in like this almost like a triangle, but you don't want to make a triangle. You just want to come in 
45 degrees and stop right about there. Whoop, I pulled the corner over. Gotta be careful, it is only aluminum foil, okay? And it's about as long as the blades. Now, that's the first two. This is actually gonna be the head, okay? It's sort of strange shaped now, but you'll understand later. Now, our arms will go right here. This separates our arm from our leg. We need to do the same on this side. So we're gonna separate our arm from our leg on this side. And now we want two legs, so I'm gonna put a line here, just like so. And that's what we have. So I'm gonna label these. This is our what? Our head, okay? This is a arm. This is a arm. This is a leg. And this is a leg. It's hard to believe it goes from this to this, but it does. All right, put your marker aside. Goodbye for a second. Now we're going to take our scissors and I'm going to cut right there. Okay, and then I'm going to continue. Cut right there. Now the what I do here is about the length of the, the uh, blades, okay? About the length of the blades on here. But again, again, your scissors may be different than mine. So I don't cut all the way because you don't want to cut it in pieces. If you cut it in pieces, you can't really squish it together and make a human body. And then right okay. Let's measure these and see how long they are just in case you need to do that. So I made this two inches long, this one, wow, two inches long, and this one is almost two inches long, this one is, ooh, three inches long, and this one by the head is also three inches, wow, I did a pretty good job. So, for those of you paying attention, this was two inches, this cut was two inches, this cut was also two inches, but by the head, it's three inches and three inches, okay? So three inch, three inch, two inch, two inch, and a two inch cut. Now we're gonna slowly, and when I say slowly, you don't wanna tear it. You wanna slowly make your legs. I start with the legs, and then I go to the arms, and then I do the head. So let's give this a shot. Let's see what I can do. I'm just gonna crumple it up. I'm not gonna do it real hard. Remember, I'm trying to make it look like a human. And once I get sort of the shape, that's good enough for now. And I'm going to do the same on this side. Crumple it up until I get the shape of a leg, sort of. And then you want to keep them the same length. Don't fold it over because then it'll it won't be it'll be won't be long enough. And I think that's exactly what I just did. So I'm going to push this one in just a little bit. Because all right, so I have the two legs, right? And now we're going to work on the arms. Gonna pull up the arms a little bit. That's part of the chest as well. You may need to collapse the chest to get the arms to work a little bit. There we go. Pinch, pinch, pinch. All right. This may take a couple times. That's why I made you double up your recipe so you would have a second one in case you messed up the first one. So now we're gonna recipe. <laughs> Don't eat this foil. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Now we're gonna do this. I guess I doubled up on the instructions. How's that? That's better. And now I'm sort of pinching the body because it doesn't look like a body yet. Ooh, it's starting to now. Okay. Turn it over. I have two legs. Oops, two legs, two arms, and a triangular head. I do not want a triangular head. Okay. So what I'm going to do is slowly try to make it a little ball. Just a little ball. Don't squish too hard because then you get a flat head. To look like a sucker. All right, so we're gonna make it a ball as best we can. Just sort of, you're not squishing all the way because you want it to be a little ball. And then pinch, maybe pinch that neck a little bit. Keep that head round. And then now we start doing a little more. Oh, I did smish the head a little bit too hard. That's okay. There's a slight flat head. 
flooded. So then we look, and he has a friend now. Oop, well, his legs are a little big, so let's give those a little squeeze. And, oop, legs, his knee blew out, so we got to fix that. So far, so good. All right, looking better. All right, his hand's a little wide, so I need to narrow that down. There we go, narrow, narrow. Uh -huh. So, all right, so now, don't forget, you doubled up, okay? So, three inches, three inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. And then you have your leg, leg, arm, arm, head. All right, but I tried it with one piece, and one piece, you get a slightly smaller person, okay? But it's also harder to work with because it is so, so delicate to work with. And then here's another one. So I have an entire family or array of human figures, right? And maybe they work in the circus. I don't know. Maybe they do handstands and they can, they can stand on each other's head like so, okay? And then let's have the little one on its head. Holding up the big one on its head. Oh, my goodness. Like that. All right. Good watching, you guys. Thanks so much. Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I can see. All right. And, again, take your time. You'll need foil, a Sharpie, a pair of scissors, and a trusty ruler. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy. Again, it was heavy aluminum foil. Okay? You can try it with regular aluminum foil, but it might be a little too thin. All right. Enjoy. Have fun.